What's up everybody and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit and we're here on Assetto Corsa talking about Bushudo style round one here on Assetto Corsa. So the track has been named, the track has been set. I am going to be driving the Corvette for round one. So today we're going to go and get some practice and try and dial in this car a little bit. As you can see the vet, nice and awesome. I know they're going to be changing liveries and stuff like that here very shortly though. So those may change a little bit. But for track, the track that has been chosen is actually Tsutsuba Circuit. So Tsutsuba is actually a very awesome course that I've loved and missed from all the other games. Well, today we get to drive it in BDC style tandem for the competition. But today we're just going to be trying to dial the car in, see if we can't get the right line, and see what we can do in this Bushido style Corvette. So we're gonna go into rough settings. I did have a test setting that we're gonna load in, dial in a little more camber. The track is actually a pretty fun track. We're gonna take a quick drive through of it. Oh, I don't have a view change anymore. So we're gonna take a quick drive through of the track and then we're gonna go send it. So it has the start chicane like every competition style does. The cones, if you hit them, it does hurt very bad. So, you in, you're supposed to be initiating before the yellow line, trying to get this clip, and then we have an outer zone here, which goes into an inner clip that shoots back out to a outer zone, and then another outer zone, and then a inner line to an inner clip, and then we follow all the way out and take it all the way out there. So it's a very interesting course. Uh, it's a very high speed course. Not much handbrake is really needed if it's done right. Uh, transitioning can be done with pretty much just, you know, throttle and clutch kicks and stuff like that. So, like I said, Tsukuba Circuit, definitely a fun track and a fun track that I've missed driving before in other games and it's just never been in like Forza or anything like that. So trying to just warm the tires up a little bit. So we're going to take a run flying lap here with the car, then we'll take a look at the outside view of it. Ooh, brakes. Take a look and digress our runs. First practice run here, so scuba circuit, prosciutto style. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which found in the description box below. Let's send it and see what happens. Third, third and fourth. She's a little bit early, kind of on that clip. I think I was a little bit off that clip. She's way too early for that. And should have went in the third gear. So a interesting first run. Oh, oh my God! I just took a screenshot. Interesting first run. So let's take a look at that run and see kind of where we're sitting at for the first run and see what we can make better here for the second run so we did initiate really early we we're about the third hash mark there so we flicked it we didn't get anywhere near that outer zone a little bit off that clip we we're okay there hard flick we would have definitely lost points for dropping tires there that clip was probably the best clip we could have done so we need to definitely uh, try and better our runs here now I'm still messing with the settings of the vet I'm gonna be working with some people to try and get these settings dialed in so if you guys want to keep seeing Bushido style competition videos let me know down in the comments so second run we're gonna try and do this a little bit better car has very there's the cone don't do that very tail happy under acceleration Probably took that clip out. I'm really far out on. Oh, I should have gone down to third. I'm really far out on those, on those uh, later clips. So, let's see what the second run looks like. That one we did take the clip out. We were a little bit better on that one. And a little bit closer on that one, we were okay there. Way too early, taking basically center punching the clip, and then we dug out. 
and kind of uh, died our car with uh, out being in third gear. So we're gonna try doing this one. We're gonna try and heat the tires up a little bit before we actually go and see if maybe that'll help. So if you guys are competing in a BDC series and you guys are in the Bushido Championship, let me know down in the comments because, you know, looking for people to get practice with. Can we get my server set up? So here we go. Third attempt. was probably a better run probably the best of all of our runs so far so let's take a look at that run and digress that run and see what this run looks like here so this group is a very technical track it's uh not really super hard but it's kind of high paced transition so that was a pretty good clip on there that was good in that zone a little bit off that inner clip nicely out in that zone much better there so this was a much better of a run we were a little bit far out there and we kind of faltered a little bit on the exit but for that run probably the better of all of our runs so far so we're going to keep just running runs here digressing the runs and taking a look at them and seeing where we stack up one more time don't hit the cones like I just did. Earlier initiation. There we go. Center. Punch that and understeered a lot. So unfortunately we kind of center punched that and we definitely understeered a little bit. So we're just going to run it around. That run was very... Uh, Pathetic to say the least. So we're gonna see, kind of come around the back side of the track, keep up the tires, and test that theory out and see what the difference is. So I'm super excited that they chose to scuba circuit because it is a track that I'm having some fun learning how to drive. And out of all the tracks that they could have chosen, it's fun to be coming here on a track that's not like an FD track, and it's a fun style track for sure. So super excited for round one, and uh, I will be trying to qualify in. I will bring you all my content and let you guys know how what happened, but I will also give you guys information on when the championship is actually going, so you guys can watch it live. There we go. Short shift in the fourth. Dang it. I don't think the car is set right really at all. So we're going to definitely need to make some adjustments to the car. And I'm definitely going to need to, you know, fine tune the settings for this car to, if I want a chance to be able to get a high qualifying run and do get into the competition because I was online tandeming with some people and well they're pretty quick but a lot of people are having issues getting the cars dialed I think because I have not seen somebody that's super consistent yet too early of a transition there too man this track is tricky to say the least I know I just keep bouncing back into pits, but we're kind of just hot running this. And as you can see, I'm kind of struggling a little bit, but it's a lot better if you guys watched when I first started driving the car in earlier episodes. I was very, very twitchy, and I was having a lot of problems with it. But now I've adjusted it a little bit, so it feels a little bit more natural for me. Kind of screwed myself in the view because this Corvette does not have a great view when you're sliding. Don't hit curbs. Ooh. Definitely, uh, definitely gonna need to 
figure something out. We're going to see if we can hop in to an online session maybe and see if they got that Bushido stuff running right now. Uh, let's see. Recent. Bushido to scuba. So there's only two people in it right now. And this one. So we're going to go in and see if maybe we can't try and grab some tandems with some people here. Uh, the Bushido style drift championship servers up. I can't actually get in my Corvette because last time I tried to get in it, Corvette wasn't available. And uh, we are locked into the cars we picked. So we're going to see if we can maybe throw some tandems here with some other people practicing in these Bushido cars on Scuba for the championship. We're going to load in my test settings. And we're going to go drive. So hopefully we can maybe tr see if we can try and run chase a little bit. Maybe try and run some lead and see how we do. So I don't see anybody right now. So we're definitely going to just slot ourselves in the lead position and see if anybody decides to come up. I don't see. Oh, there's somebody popping back in the pit. So we're going to try and give him a lead run and see what happens. Like I said, definitely excited to be doing a set of Corsa Bushido Style Championship. It's very fun. Luckily, I got into the 150 registration. So we get, looks like we got an E46. So we're going to run our lead. See if we can't get a decent lead out here. There we go. Probably a little bit early on that. All the clutch kicks and he sounds like he was right on me that entire time. So a decent run for that, I would say. Whoop, wrong button. A decent run for a lead run, to say the least. It was a bit shaky, but we were still somewhat online. We were a little off on that one clip. So now I'm going to try and definitely try and get a chase run and see if we're able to chase down this man throw it in I give myself too much room there oh he was right on point too oh boy that man was kind of right on too and I totally biffed it into the wall so chasing is one thing I'm going to have to get used to in this Corvette. So if you guys, like I said, if you guys are running the shield style and you guys uh, want to maybe get into a session with me and get some practice, i am hopefully be setting up my server here very shortly so that I can uh, get some people to run practice with and try and get doors and get my chase lines and lead lines down. So we're gonna try and do one more chase here if we can get somebody to chase with us. So if you want to keep seeing more, make sure you comment down in the comment section down below. If you guys aren't a subscriber, tap that subscribe button. I would appreciate all the support from you guys in this endeavor here on Assetto Corsa in the Bushido style. We did not get a good jump on that. He kind of rolled through it. So we're just going to try and finish this off. And we biffed it in the wall again. So I think that'll do it here for this episode here on a set of Corsa. If you guys like to see you want to see more, don't forget to tap that like button. I do appreciate all the support. And those man just drove past me. So as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.